Welcome to Dave's Diaries in France. This is where I air my views and show you what it's like living in France from my perspective. I will cover do-it-yourself projects and garden management. Just remember, this is just a bit of fun. So let's begin. Ah, hello everyone. Dave's Diaries in France. How is everyone? Uh, I'm well. Apart from I got my Days of the Week mixed up this week. Um, I've, I've, this will be a compilation, basically, of uh, Wednesday, not Thursday, Wednesday and Friday, which is today. Um, because my last recording, I thought it was Thursday. I'm losing my mind. Um, so I did some uh, cutting back of uh, one of the trees, which was, uh, well, two of the trees that were um, just taking over. And uh, when I got to the root bed, I, I saw why. So uh, more work's needed on that. Um, so uh, that will improve my um, sit-on mower um, path going around the grounds. So that was Wednesday. You'll see that on this video. Um, so what's, what's been happening? Uh, so yesterday was an abysmal day. I was going to do more... Uh, gardening work, but uh, I, I didn't have time. Well, I did have time, but uh, uh, just after lunch, I was ready to go outside and then it just started chucking it down. As they say in UK, but well, not in UK, cats and dogs. But in France, it was raining, uh, how do I word this? Il pleut. Il pleut. Um, cats and dogs. A chat et chien. <laughs> That's hard to say, <laughs> but I'm learning, slowly I'm learning. Um, so yesterday I was cooking in the morning and uh, doing some administration in the afternoon and some housework and washing and stuff like that. Uh, cooking wise, I did a batch cook of a, a cottage pie, uh, my own little recipe. Uh, if you want to know the details, yeah, just, just send me a message uh, uh, right in the box below. Let me know because it is delicious. Um, so I did that yesterday and we had some of it yesterday evening. And then uh, today uh, my wife is on late. So she was sorting out some tax foncier issues. Namely, they can't bill you correctly or at the right address for a certain address. Uh, she found out today that they their address systems only update quarterly. How pathetic is that? So you have to up update your address at one location and then it feeds through, uh, feeds through a quarterly. So it's, it's not digitally connected. I can imagine someone um, handing a tape to a courier and sending it to a, a central administration site saying, oh, here's the tape for the update of addresses. How ridiculous. How, how uh, I would say, 90s, early 90s is that. Honestly, the IT, IT, IT systems for the central administration in France, pathetic. They need to get their act into gear. Because you get a notice then... They send, to a, they send your bill to a, an old address. Um, you're not going to see it unless someone forwards it or knows who you were or whatever. So, and then you get, uh, then you ring up to find out, well, I haven't had my tax foncier. Oh, we've sent it. But where did you send it? Oh, we sent it to this address. But we don't live there. And I updated your records three months ago. Oh, yeah, all oh, right. But you have to pay this extra because you've defaulted. No. No way. It's your problem, your mistake. I'm not paying any extra. So we're not. And they are at fault. So I, I feel sorry for just English people or, or foreign people coming to uh, France, uh, having to learn the... Administration, administration system, uh, so so difficult, so cumbersome, lots of hurdles, 
Um, you definitely need a, a, a hand holder for that type of thing. Fortunately, my wife's French and she still can't believe it either, but um, it's, it's one of those things. So today I'm gonna to do more, some more skimming. Uh, I may or may not film it because uh, I've got the, the other footage from the, from the garden. Uh, and I, I show, showcase my uh, sit-on mower, which you'll see. I think it's great. Good little thing. Um, and what else? Uh, oh, yes. Uh, I, I'm now starting to let Una off the lead every time I go for a walk. And um, it, it's actually pretty good. She, she is pretty good. Um, she doesn't go too far away from you. And uh, when you shout her, she, she comes with a bit of persuasion. She comes to you. Uh, she's, she's not too bad, which is really, we're getting there with her. And uh, the, the wife, she's, she's constant. Every evening she's training her, which is a good thing. Uh, what else? Uh, I think that's it at the moment. But uh, if I put any more footage on, um, it will be uh, probably time lapse of me skimming stuff. I don't know. Anyway, I'll catch you later. If I don't see you before. Ta ta for now. Well, you join me again. I've now done uh, that wall there and above there. Uh, I'm not very good at it, but um, the whole idea is to fill all the imperfections in and then resand everything and that's exactly what I'm going to do um, and I've done part of this wall here as you can probably tell so I'll go back a bit more yeah so but I've run out of product so I'm going to have to go and get some um, I didn't film it because it's, it's going to be time lapse anyway and you, you're going to be bored and I'm no good at it I rely on the sanding to save my life. I've started sanding that wall, but um, it's still not dry enough for me to sand. So I've, um, I've got to stop doing that. Um, but yeah, we're cracking on. Um, so give me a like, subscribe, whatever. Um, Put a comment in. Be great if I got some comments. Apart from just Paul Waters carpentry. I know. I'm biased. He's biased because we know each other from working on the uh, chateau. So um, I will love you and leave you. And uh, I'll catch you soon. Take care. Have a good weekend. Cheers, to ta for now. Ah, good morning. Dave's diary is in France. Another day. What day is it today? I think it's uh, Thursday. <laughs> it's been going crazy this week. Uh, today, like I said in my previous vlog yesterday, I'm at home in the garden uh, cutting back stuff and I'm going to be cutting back this because it hampers my lawn mowing techniques in the uh, spring and the summer. 68 subscribers, thank you very much. Um, I'm loving it, even though some of my content isn't that good, which I'm aware of. Um, I think uh, the one where I overdid it uh, on the Saturday night. That hasn't got no views whatsoever. Zero. Kaput. But, uh, yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll put them out there. Give you my points of view on certain stuff. Um, the wife is very, very busy at work um, this week. They've, I think they've got an audit on or something. Um, still got moles. Uh, so yeah, she's very busy. Forgot a laptop this morning. Take a laptop in, didn't she? 
um, but uh, yeah so that's what I'm going to do today I might uh, do a time lapse uh, because this won't hopefully it won't take me that long um, so uh, let's crack on Hello, welcome back. Uh, yeah, I think um, I filled all my bags, ready to go to the dishetery. And uh, you can see I've cut back quite a bit, actually. Uh, needed to. I need to cut back further as well because them trees aren't supposed to be there. So I know I've got all that bamboo. Well, not all of it. Quite a bit of it to cut back because. It's very invasive, so um, but uh, it's ten to one. See, I've got them bags and four other bags full, ready to go to the dishetery. Um, but the ground is sodden. Uh, but a good day so far. It's uh, it feels warm, mind you. I'm sweating so. It is a, it's an overcast day, but it's, the sun is trying to get out. Bloody moles. Can't do anything in this weather. I need a roller. Uh, so, yeah, there we go. So I've done a bit. Um, anyone who uh, is into the uh, medium size lawnmower sit on type varieties I can highly recommend the Storb um, it's really quite resilient I mean okay it looks like a dinky toy but it really is quite sturdy I mean it's it's almost been rolled it's been electrocuted uh, you can store it um, on its tail, so it can it can be stored, yeah, on its tail, um, and it's really quite good. I'm quite impressed with it, and we've had it nearly a year, and it hasn't missed a beat. And in these winter months, it it starts first time. It's uh, as long as you keep a trickle on it, obviously trickle charge that is but yeah it's a it's a good little machine I quite like it okay it makes me look like a bit of a knob when I'm <laughs> riding it but I mean it takes takes me an hour to get all of the lawns done around here and that's a lot including the orchard so it's a it's a yeah, keep maintain it, grease it, and uh, you can't go wrong with it. I think so, anyway. Um, no, my look, it's bound to go tits up on me as soon as I put this out. Anyway, I'm gonna love you and leave you. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't, 
um, go ahead click subscribe hit the notification bell and uh, I'm now starting to put some more stuff out there I'm still working on the quality and the content I'm at uh, our other place tomorrow um, more skimming so I'll go to Brico get some angle bead for the corner of the plasterboards in the downstairs bathroom and then uh, we'll be rolling so I'll catch you all later take care ta-ta for now